Oh, hello again. Welcome back to Doggy Bag Hackers. Ready for round two? Coming up, the guys say Dr. Dr. Pepper. Pepper. You may have ordered some Dr. Pepper. Hi, Dr. Pepper. Have you ever used Dr. Pepper to, um, what's the idea behind the Dr. Pepper shop? Dr. Pepper? Dr. Pepper. <laughs> 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 Dr. Pepper. 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 Dr. Pepper.
And then if you're in Hull, you'd get a patty and chips. So you're on potato with your potato. Or in a butter. Or in a butter even. Potato in your potato, in, in your bread. And there used to, there's, a, there's a little story about all the ladies that used to work in the factories that used to make the patties to go out, and they used to be called patty slappers. <laughs> but that might know something about that. I, I believe he may do. And so the gravy that you get left, and re reheat it up and add a little bit of water, just to thin it down a bit. And I'm also going to add a bit more, I'm going to get, use one of these um, stock jellies just to, just to get a bit more out of it. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to slowly heat the brisket back up into a pan. Next part to my dish is To, instead of using water for noodles, I'm going to bring to boil with uh, Dr. Pepper. A bit strange, but there's a bit, a bit of flavour taken in by the noodles, so yeah, that's right. And so, have you ever used Dr. Pepper to um, cook noodles in before, or is this the first time? Every single day. I normally use about 490 mils and then 10 mils for myself. And what's the idea behind the Dr. Pepper show? Dr. Pepper? Dr. Pepper! <laughs> <laughs> Sugar? <laughs> Dr. Pepper, the Dr. Pepper, and the Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Are you actually using them um, bird's eye chilies? Just the Lucas. Just the Lucas. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you're trying to. Ah! <laughs> it's a play! <laughs> ah. What, what, the Dr. Pepper does the onions for? A bit of extra going for the noodles. Okay. So I'm going to put them in with the, uh, with the brisket very shortly. So I'm just going to put these in the batter. The Dr. Pepper in, would you believe? It's all about the Dr. Pepper today. If we, if we didn't have a deep fat fry at home, could we shallow fry these? Shallow just in a pan? Or? Yeah, I would, I, would, I would use breadcrumbs there. Okay. Be shallow frying it. Or, no, or just flour. Flour will be fine. It's looking like a stir fry. Yeah, we get it out. Just going to think of it in here. Some gravy here. Just uh, some uh, brisket there. So, what we're trying to use is all stir fry. Yeah. I know the horse, I said the horse, but. Everybody has, lots of people have like jars of horseradish in there, so you can, you can use that and jars of mustard. You don't have to have tarragon with it, but if you've got some herbs, then chop the herbs up and throw, throw them in. Does it doesn't matter what herbs or just anything you've got? I mean, tarragon, tarragon goes well with beef, thyme goes well with beef, parsley will go well with beef, anything like that really. And coriander will go great with this beef because he's doing like an Asian yeah. What are you doing there, Sean? What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make the serving dish. As you kind of know, I've got a bit of a crazy creative background. So it's about doing things in a different way. And, and again, using everything up. I'm just going to slowly toast this in the oven. Put it straight onto the shelf. Do you need some plate, chef? Or, the or are, you, are you serving yours up here? Do you want to shear water? Um, no, I, I think a plate will do for me, Lucas. <laughs> and then any, any, but just dried, any preference between dried and fresh noodles or? Use whatever you like, I mean, if, if you have to, let's use a pot noodle. Okay then. Let's, let's go with this, so noodles straight into the box of pepper. Uh, how long have you, how long are you, Sean? Yeah, I'm just waiting for the beef fry it, and then shoot uh, the two power up, I'm just going to... Do a Dr. Pepper stained egg. Dr. Pepper stained eggs? Yeah. Do you want one of those sticking in there after that? Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, try it. Let's go for it, yeah. 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 let us try it yeah let us go for 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 it yeah let us go It's a lovely towering basket. Which will fall into pieces. 
You ready for this, Chef? Yeah, if you can go straight on top of the brisket, that'd be perfect. Well, this was a docked pepper stained egg. Stained egg. Finish off. Garnish, the slaw. A little bit of colour. Bang, bang, and I think we're good. Stop the clock. So, chefs, what's this dish called? It's a uh, Doctor Brisket. Doctor Brisket. Beach Chinatown. <laughs> I like that. And this dish here, what we're calling this dish? Uh, old patty and brisket. Perfect, lovely. So let's dig in. So look at, oh, look at that. Oh, That's a that. perfect runny egg. That's brilliant. So let, let that rip. Let's, oh. Let's get some egg. Let's get a bit of a thing on there. That's nice. At the end, there's just a little hint of when it's smoking in the background, with a little bit of sweetness. Um, with that bloody egg, it's brilliant. The egg, egg really works well with that. Sorry, I can't wait for this uh, one. I'm yeah, you do again. <laughs> Surprisingly, the Dr. Pepper works. Um, just gives it a nice sweetness. It goes with the sticky of the caramelization on the, on the beef there, with that, with that egg and the chili that you get. The, the kick of the chili from the liver fritter all together. That's really good. Now, we need to score. I think both, both dishes themselves were absolutely wonderful. But I think just for the sheer madness of it, I think this is the winner this time. So it's up to you to decide now. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Sean. Yes, yes. I'd like to say that I do prefer Jason's. <laughs> <laughs>